Yo, what is good? I mean, you have to use a different mic, so I apologize, but three anime, one review must go on. Your boy is looking at Mashal, and I'm loving how the old man is taking control. Not only did he release people of time stopping, well, he is now facing Innocent Zero, the one person we know nothing about in the grand scheme of why he's doing what he's doing or where it all started, but we do have a little bit of an understanding of what his ultimate goal could be, which is immortality, uh, youth and all, you know, strength, all these different things like that, which begs the question, is there other children that this character has created like Mash? Because it seems like he only wants the strength portion of him, or somewhat, something like those lines, but to be doing forbidden spells and all these other types of magic, like toss stopping time, what else do you need from anybody but the power to punch all the other spells away? That going into Moonlit Fantasy, of course this show has to introduce another dragon trying to seduce our main character. And it's a guild master who's been reincarnated multiple. There's so many levels to this new character, but just the display of how easily he slash they can go through and dismantle one of our members who are one of the lower ranks, but get the respect of everyone else, never losing a battle, but how are you been reincarnated? It's another one of those examples of the show uh, where the person's so bored in life, he reincarnates to try to make the world better because he needs it, or it's just a weird situation where maybe they're just doing it to see a better fight. But knowing that this character can see the potential and our main character was the biggest takeaway from this week's episode. And I love that because he might be able to try past Earth and this world. And last but not least, Blue Exorcist made me want to throw my phone at the screen. Not only did this girl not ask for help because, you know, she's got to be tough and do everything on herself. You know, do your own thing, girl. Do it, do it, do it, you know. But when you get in there and you ultimately wind up losing control to the nine tails and seeing your sister who they've been treating like crap this whole time she may have treated you like crap but you don't know the reason and you're still holding that grudge in some way shape or form it really hurts the character of her for me to care but outside of that rin just absolutely tearing through whatever he can to get to her was a nice surprise because now that we know he is capable of these things he still is holding back tremendously trying to be the trump card, but I hate the fact that multiple characters that we know and love are going against him, where he's never going to fight for real until it's too late. But overall, let me know what you're thinking, and I am your boy, the Anime G. Thank you for your support. Like, subscribe, and peace.